Going out to celebrate one of your girlfriends is always a great time. We had so much fun. Today, I'm partnering with CoverGirl to recreate my look from Kendra's Bachelorette festivities. So first, we're gonna apply the foundation. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And pop the top, get your sponge, put a couple squirts, and simply apply. I love this particular foundation because it's transfer resistant and it has a matte finish. So when it dries, it's nice matte. You have no shine going on, so it's really, really good. Just cover up any little blemishes you may see, and then you're good to go. So now I'm done with the foundation. We're going to move on to the concealer and I'm going to use CoverGirl's True Blend Undercover Concealer for those dark circles under the eye. And with this, you simply apply in a V-shaped formation. Easy and simple to do. I love this concealer. It provides flawless, full coverage underneath the eye. Covers up everything, blemishes, fine lines, any little marks you may have. I wear glasses, so I have indentations here by my nose. Cover those up perfectly. This is my go-to concealer. I like to use the sponge because it just gives it a nice smooth look and everything just blends really well with the sponge versus a brush or your finger. Next, I'm going to use a darker shade of the True Blend Undercover Concealer for my contouring. You take it and you just put a couple of dabs right below the cheekbone, brush, and you just brush in an upward motion. And you can go across the top of the forehead as well. That will give you that sun-kissed look, like you've been to the beach on vacation. Blending is extra important because if you don't blend, it's gonna look very choppy and it's not gonna just look like a smooth, face, it's gonna look like sharp lines on your face and nobody wants that. So next, my concealer's done. I'm gonna use the True Blends Minerals Powder to set underneath the eye. I always use a little brush to apply the powder underneath the eye. Easily, back and forth, light strokes to set it. My base is done, and as you can see, everything is smooth and evened out. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the CoverGirl's True Naked Dazed Palette. I'm going with orange and purple. Purple's my favorite color. And we just smooth the orange over the top of the lid, smooth everything out and blend it. It's really simple, guys, I know makeup Kind of looks hard, but this look that I'm doing is pretty easy. And the next eye, same thing. You smooth it out right on the lid in that crease area. Next, I'm going to go under the eye with my purple. And you're just gonna smudge it along that lash line at the bottom. Kind of wing it out underneath, just a little. Same on the other eye, smudge it out. Come to the corner and just kind of fan it a little. And then I'm going to go back in at the top, right where you would put your eyeliner and do the same thing. I love using these bright, bold colors. Probably two colors you guys would never think to put together, but as you can see, super cute. Next, I'm going to do my liner, lashes, and mascara, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I've used my Perfect Point Eyeliner, lined my eyes with it, and I applied my lashes. I'm looking nice and fabulous, and this look is coming together. Next, I'm going to apply blush, and I'm going to use today CoverGirl Cheekers. It's gonna give me that nice, rosy look. When you apply your blush, you smile, and smiles. Smile and smiles. Something I do. <laughs> now I'm going to use another color just to go over it, just for a little pop. 
So guys, for my next step, I'm going to apply the highlighter. This is the CoverGirl Super Stunner Mono Highlighter. It is so cool. This is just gonna pop my face all types of ways. Take your brush, you apply a little here underneath on the side of your cheek by the eye. Then you take your brush and you just put a dab right at the tip of the nose here and then you slide the brush up. Super simple. And then I take my highlighter and put it right underneath the eyebrow. This just pops the eye, pops the eye. So when you turn to the left and to the right, you see that shimmer. It's super cool. Just blend it in. You can use a brush, but I put it on with the brush and then I like to go back in with my finger. So for my lip color, it's a three-step process. And today I'm going to use the Outlast All Day Custom Nude. And this is called Medium Warm. I love this liquid lip. It goes on so easy and so smooth. Feels like butter. Mm. Next, I'm going to use the moisturizer. Even though this feels nice and creamy, a little moisturizer will take you a long way throughout the night. Lastly, I'm going to apply the Exhibitionist Lip Gloss, and the name of this one is Hashtag. And this just, you know, changes the color a little bit. So I had on a warm nude, and I'm just gonna add a little pizzazz with the Hashtag. It's, it's got sparkles in it, so what it's gonna do is pop off of the purple under my eye, and it's gonna bring my look all the way together. My makeup is looking great. All I've gotta do is throw on my outfit so you guys can get the complete look from last night. So guys, this is my look. I think I'm looking pretty amazing. This is the look, we've recreated it, and I'm feeling easy, breezy, and beautiful. And it's always CoverGirl. To recreate this look using these products, head over to mimi.vh1.com down in the description. If you like that video, subscribe to VH1's 11 Hip Hop YouTube channel for more.